It seems like as I get older, my hangovers are getting worse. When I was 19, I mean 21, <gasps> my hangovers were non-existent. I mean, not only did I feel great, but I would go on a run, I would clean, I would hang out with people. But now at the ripe age of 25, I feel so crappy the next day. And it got me thinking, is it really worth sacrificing your well-being the next day for a few hours of fun? If you're rethinking your relationship with alcohol like I am, or you've decided to cut it out altogether, this video is for you. But first, if you're new here, welcome to the Nutrition Insider. We help you level up your health by offering hype-free information on the latest natural products and current events in the health and wellness world. When you consume alcohol, there is a complex process going on behind the scenes. During this process, alcohol is converted into acetaldehyde, and it is largely responsible for how you feel during a hangover. To better understand the science of it all, we asked Dr. Zach Abbott, who has a PhD in microbiology and immunology. He also created the world's first genetically engineered probiotic that breaks down acetaldehyde, but we'll get into that later. First, let's learn what this word actually means. Acetaldehyde is this toxic byproduct of alcohol metabolism. So when you drink alcohol, most of the alcohol you drink is sort of pretty quickly absorbed in your bloodstream. It circulates throughout the body. It has the effects that alcohol has, uh, and then it makes its way to the liver and it's broken down in two stages. Alcohol is converted to acetaldehyde and then acetaldehyde is converted to acetate. That intermediate acetaldehyde is highly toxic, much more toxic than the alcohol itself. The gut ends up being the major source of acetaldehyde in the body. So it'll get absorbed into the bloodstream, out of the gut, kind of wreak havoc throughout your body, make its way to the liver, be broken down efficiently, but at that point, it's kind of too late. It doesn't really contribute to the feelings uh, in terms of intoxication and things like that. It's more the effects that we think of the next day, or we don't want to get off the couch, or we don't want to go out and do our morning workout. Other short-term effects like drowsiness, vomiting, and of course the dreaded hangover can be exhausting. Alcohol consumption is also linked to a higher cancer risk and a weakened immune system. Even worse, there is a huge negative impact on the brain over time. And I don't know about you, but I only have one brain cell and I kind of need that right now. These repercussions have led many to rethink their relationship with alcohol, shifting towards the trend of sober curiosity, and even sobriety. But it's important that we explain the difference between the two. Actually, I'll just let Laura Taylor explain. She's the founder of a non-alcoholic beverage brand called Mingle Mocktails. So sober curious is just a term used to identify anybody who's looking at their relationship with alcohol and wanting to make better choices. Biologically, alcohol is not great for us, but maybe socially and psychologically, when used responsibly in moderation, it can be beneficial. I think that people are starting to appreciate that more and more, that like, hey, just because this makes you feel good, I shouldn't go crazy on it. But also like cutting it out entirely is difficult or not realistic for me. And so like, how do I balance these two things out? So whether you decide to continue drinking alcohol, limit your consumption, or just eliminate it completely, we actually have a solution for you. For sober individuals, look into non-alcoholic options like Mingle Mocktails. Mingle is a line of alcohol-free cocktails so everyone feels part of the party. I really didn't want to drink non-alc beer or non-alc wine, and that's really all that was out there at the time. And so Mingle really provides me an opportunity that, to have something that's like a Prosecco or a festive Cosmo, but it happens to be alcohol-free. We actually tried Mingle Mocktails and five other non-alcoholic drinks, and you can find that review in the link in the description. But if you don't want something like a mocktail, we've also tried non-alcoholic wine and beer for you. Tap the link above to watch our non-alcoholic wine tasting video or click the link in the description below. For sober curious individuals, if you're looking to feel something but don't really want to drink alcohol, try non-alcoholic options like Three Spirits, which offer elixirs and adaptogenic properties to help boost your mind. Plus, you can even get 50% off with the code The Nutrition Insider. But if you're like me and you're not really willing to give up your weekend drinks quite yet, I've got a solution for you too. They're called Z-Biotics. Developed by Dr. Abbott and his team, this pre-alcohol supplement helps mimic your liver's natural response. The drink is, yeah, pre-alcohol, and so it's just like a, a small half ounce liquid beverage, and in that is mostly just water, and then a little bit of flavoring, and then our bacteria that, we, that we've engineered. It's a natural uh, probiotic bacteria called Bacillus subtilis. You likely eat it every day of your life. It's kind of like ubiquitous on the surface of fresh fruits and vegetables and stuff. The idea is you drink this drink before you drink alcohol, and then the bacteria get into your gut, and then they start making uh, 
this enzyme that helps your body deal with this gut drive acetaldehyde. This is like another tool in tool belt because people want to have a nice night out, but they don't want to have to have that be a zero sum or like a choice of that versus like getting a morning workout in or going on a hike. And I think that Zbiotics is an opportunity for people who want to have all of those things and want to have that nice balance. If you want to learn more about this product, click the link in the description below. And if you want to hear more from Dr. Abbott, stay tuned for our full interview with him. If you're considering your relationship with alcohol and looking to maybe take a break, go for it. There are so many choices and then enjoy the benefits, whether it's for a week or as a lifestyle choice, you will have no regrets. There's a more and more appreciation that alcohol is not good for you. You know, there's more and more cool products out there that allow us to kind of like dose in non-alcoholic beverages or low alcoholic beverages. Uh, so we get still get the social interaction of drinking something that you don't just drink every day. I personally am sober, 100% sober. And I think what's so great about this alcohol-free movement is that it's no longer a trend. It's very accepted and supported when people choose to be alcohol free. That's the beauty is there is something for everyone now. So if you're a fellow health nerd or someone who just likes to learn about the latest health trends before anyone else, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget it's five o'clock somewhere, whether you're sober or not. So stupid.